Hello everyone, this is Sensuous One, and we're going to start today doing an altered Drifted Find, which is a lighthouse, and it has a bulb inside and it still works, and I'm going to do this probably with some tilde napkins that look like this, and I'm not going to do a complete video, so I'll probably stop and go on this, but I will piece it all together so you can see the final result. Okay, and yes, I'm on the floor because it seems a little more comfortable. I'm going to start by cutting pieces of the tissue and just um, putting it on to the lighthouse with this Mod Podge. And just like different spots, I'm probably just going to cover the top and probably the four sides. I don't have a plan, so I'm kind of just go go with it. So I'm going to go ahead and decoupage the first part of it, and then I'll be back. Okay, so far I've just done the top part, and I'm not going to worry about the holes yet, because once the, the Mod Podge completely dries, it'll be easier to cut around it. If I try to cut it now while it's wet, it's just going to tear. So I'll go ahead and show you real quick a sample. I just kind of eyeballed it, rough measured it with a ruler, and cut out pieces that would fit the parts that I want to cover. So I'll go ahead and do this one section here with you real quick on camera so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing. Um, I haven't got too good at doing the process videos as far as speeding them up and all that. So once I get the hang of that, I'll be able to do a full tutorial showing you start to finish. So I'll just lay some Mod Podge there. I'm going to lay down my piece of tissue open my frame and I tend to do one side at a time just so it doesn't stick everywhere but I'm not ready for it to stick and then I'll come and do some Mod Podge on this side and I'm not worrying about it going all the way to the top or the bottom because there's going to be another um strip of the same paper that's going to go across the top and the bottom. So once I have that glue there, kind of just, I usually start in the middle, sorry I'm out of frame again, in the middle and work your way to the sides. For me it's a little easier, it keeps it from wrinkling up. And then there's a little extra here. I'll just put some Mod Podge on it to lay it down right on the edge. I, just, I cut it close enough to where it's not going to touch the glass. Alright, so that's what it looks like so far. I'm going to do that to all four of the corners, same exact way. And I'll be back. Okay, so I finished covering the four corners. Oh, four corners. Um, these four corners here. And I'm going to cover this piece, probably this piece, and the bottom piece. Um, yeah. And I started um, cutting, didn't realize I didn't record it. But for the holes, like I was saying, I waited for it to dry because it's easier to cut. And then I just take a scissor or a blade. I got a scissor right now. So I just take a scissor, stay in frame, and just push it against the wood. Like so. And it cuts fairly easy. And then a little piece just pops out. And I'll probably put something in there and just run your finger across to smooth out any piece of paper. But it'll come out with a clean cut if you cut it when it's dry. So I'll go ahead and do the top part up here. And this is day two, by the way. Because <laughs> I was stopping and going with this. So I'll put some glue there. 
Then I have my strip that I pre-cut. And when I cut these um, the strips, it was easier to cut it with um, one of these versus a scissor. Because I just um, you know laid a ruler out and cut the strips. So I'll place that on there. And then I'll just use the brush in my in-frame. Sorry. Sorry about that glare too. It's glare from my flash. Not very good lighting in here. Just like that. And then like I say, usually when I do it, I do it in sections. So it doesn't stick. Or I don't want it to stick. All right, so just like that. I'm going to finish the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, finish this top piece and um, do the bottom piece and then I'll come back before I start the very bottom of it. Okay, so I'll go ahead and show you the bottom part as I do it. Keep going. I'm going to go over it with a, probably a sparkle glaze, just to give it some shine, but the, um, the Mod Podge seals it in as you cover it. And have a little piece left. And I'll just overlap it a little bit because it's so thin. You won't be able to see where it starts and where it stops. I don't think I'm going to use the whole thing. Maybe I'll cut some more.
Okay. Then I have my strips for the bottom. Same process. I'll just quickly do one side and show you so I don't bore you with this. And put my strips on. I think I'm going to line up at the bottom because there's going to be some um, some pearls on there so it's going to cover up. Some of the um, paper. So it's going to look like that. And I'm going to go ahead and do the, um, the other three sides. And I'll be back. Okay, so I have it all covered. And I um, also covered the base. The same technique around the edges. Um, that one's a little wet. I'm working on that last. So I'm not going to worry about drying it right now. But this one here is dry. I used my heat tool to dry it. And I did put a top coat of this. Um, Martha Stewart glitter. It's like a clear, well, not, yeah, it's a clear base, but it's glittery, shimmery. But um, I don't know if you can see the shimmer and the shine on it. So, all that's done. And I think that's all the paper I'm going to do. I don't want to overdo it. And I left some spots white. And I think now I'm going to, um, I thought about spray painting this pink or another color, blue, but. I think I'm gonna leave it that color. It gives it a it gives it a color of not a color, but it gives it it makes other colors pop basically, which is why I'm gonna leave it. I'm going to put some pearls, and I'm not. I don't think I want to do it on camera until I can figure out how to speed it up. <laughs> but basically, I'm gonna take some of these. Um, these are like an off white pearl, and I'm gonna put it around here. And in different spots. And then after I place all the um, pearls, I'll come back. I'm going to use, I'm going to attach these with some, um, I haven't decided yet. I was thinking E6000, but then again, I was thinking hot glue. Um, I think I'll probably do hot glue. And yeah, I think I'll put some lace maybe too. I have a piece of lace over here. This dainty light pink color. I think I'm going to put it just on the top tier. Like along here. And then add the pearls. Yeah, I think that'll look pretty. I'm going to use that. Along with my pearls. And I'll come back and show you after I get the... um. All the pearls on okay and I know I've been all over the place but I finally got it done um, and like I said from the beginning I was gonna be stopping and going so this is the final fix my camera I'll probably just pick it up without bumping the tripod huh um, what well, turn it this is the back side <clears throat> and I did go ahead and put um, pearls inside of the little holes there I'm going to try to plug it up so you can, I don't know if you can see during the daytime, but, well, it's kind of early still. You heard birds chirping. Let me see if I can get it. Okay, let's do this first. Okay, this is the back side, and this is the other side, and then the other side, and this is the front. 
Oh, the sides look pretty much the same, but the wire goes, of course, in the back. But I'll go ahead and try to plug it out really quick. Just so you can see what it looks like. Oh, I'm turning the bed and light out. Hold on. Well, you can kind of see it. It's like I said, it's daytime, but it, it works. It's functional, and it's a cute little lighthouse. Um, this item will be for sale. If you're interested, you can email me at the email address that I'll leave in my description box below. And I thank you all for watching. Bye.